What is up? My name is Vision XE. I've worked with artists such as Roddy Rich, G Herbo, Doughboy, and many, many more. And today, I have an insane present for you guys. We at Cymatics hunted down some of the rarest synthesizers in existence and used them to record over 500 free analog one shots for you guys. And they sound incredible. As you can see, we recorded them completely dry, just so you can process them the way you like. And for those who don't like the sound of dry one-shots, I'll show you guys my top 3 favorite effects chains that I use on a daily basis to spice up any one-shot at the end of the video. So let's actually get cooking. So for our first sound, we start with this. This is the Juno 60 keys from the Fantasy. By the way, you can find all the one-shots down in the description, but this is the first one. I went into the envelope section and just a tiny, tiny bit of attack, just so it doesn't click. A little bit of sustain, actually all the way of sustain, and just a little bit of release, just so it like doesn't completely cut off once like the note stops playing. The MIDI I used was this core progression I put together. Pretty simple, pretty repetitive, I really like it. For the effects on this one, we used the cymatics memory with the occasional glitch preset and we used the double preset right here. It gives it like this corrosive feel and the glitch in here kind of gives it a little more an authentic feel. You know, it sounds more like it's straight from the synthesizer. Next we use space, the hall long, 13%. It's basically the default preset or like the clean hall preset. Just to give it a little bit more room, space, boom. And lastly, Good Hertz Midside Matrix, one of my favorite plugins. Just to like move the signal a little bit into the sides and take it a little bit out of the mids, because I wanted to add like some leads and stuff in here. Next, we have the bass right here. It sounds like this. Pretty simple, just follow the bass line with these little double notes right here. Also, there are no effects on this one, so it sounds like this, straight out of the pack. And now for the main part, which are these melodies right here. What I actually did, I recorded this video before and I played in like a 70 bar long MIDI. You see? This good old thing. Problem is the video got corrupted, so I couldn't show you guys this. But what I just basically did is cloned this a couple of times and then just played in a melody. Picked the best parts together and put them all into one one shot right here into this one. And this is what like the MIDI at the end looked like after I puzzled it together. Then I said, okay, let's use like multiple one shots. That's why I picked three one shots. Take this part for one one shot, uh, like this part for one one shot. And then this is going to be a second one shot. And then this is going to be the third one and this is how we ended up now this is the first one which plays these like little ups this is the juno 60 lead and for the effects first semantic space just to give it a little bit of like uh, space uh, it's the clean hall preset and 18 percent dry wet all long pretty much the basic standard preset we have echo boy with a rhythmic delay one eighth just a little bit of feedback so you can hear it a little bit longer and lastly we have a pan man i liked how when the art plays the echo boy it's or like the delayed sound just moves left and right that's why we have it like this it's just a pan man with the two bar white slow midi next we have the prophet 5 lead magic low Super nice preset, also right here. A little bit of attack, basically the same as with the pad. So this is what it sounds. For the effects on here, we just have reels and the Juno 6, just to give it a little bit of that analog feel. Then next we have a cinematic space again. It's the same preset as before, just a little bit of the, more of the wet and the mode is shimmer instead of like the clean hall. The Q is here because the reels and the Juno cut a little bit of that high end off and we kind of want to regain that a little bit. So that's why the EQ is here. And lastly, we have a ping pong echo boy just to give it a little more space and make it a little more sparkly. So this is where like the video left off. This is the third sound right now and it's not yet finished. And I'm gonna show you guys the best thing about one shots right now. It is that you can just play the whole loop. It sounds cool, but you can just switch presets within milliseconds, basically. So now I can just... It's kind of cool. Uh, 
okay, I like that actually, that kind of texture, it's cool texture. Another cool thing that not a lot of people know is that you can use slide nodes using one shots. So as an example, we have this C right here, and then I can use a slide node and like make it slide up. And the smaller you make the slide node, the faster it's gonna slide up or down. Yes, we're not going to use this right now, but it is definitely one of the most iconic things you can do with a one-shot. By the way, you can find all these sounds, like the Fantasia uh, sample pack with all the one-shots, and 500 plus most one-shots in the description. If you're wondering what this drum loop right here is, I use this to have like a drum sample going, to have like a groove going when I'm laying down a melody. So personally, it's easier to come up with melodies when I'm already having a groove going, and there's already something that I can kind of attach myself to. See if we can like add like one more sound in here, something like very accented, accented. I like this actually. Maybe we can actually layer this. This is gonna be the melody. Let's add some quick drums to this now. Yeah. I'm just gonna go through some MIDI to see if we can find something that works. Oh wait, I actually kinda like this. I'm gonna pick another head and just do a two step maybe. This first hi-hat, this like two-step one is gonna create that like main bounce, and then the second hi-hat of the hi-hat MIDI is gonna create more of that underlying sound feeling, you know? Okay, first hi-hat. So two hi-hats, we're just gonna use those as the accents like every, every other bar. Using the snare as an accent to get like a couple more sounds in there, but it doesn't really do that much. It's just there for like to fill it up a little bit, add a little bit more of bounce, and then that's pretty good. So let's turn off the bass and just look for an 808 real quick. Just looking for something discreet, nothing like distorted or something. Copy the bass line. Perfect. We also want to keep this very, very minimal. I say that while I'm gonna turn this into like a roll. All you creates a chopper, and then you can just go in. Wait, so we're actually gonna take this out right there. Just to have like a little bit of variation. Just add a kick, Alt and K. I just stole the MIDI notes of the 808 and put them also C. If there's an 808 and you have a kick under them and it does quite doesn't sound right, you can try this reverse polarity option right here. This basically flips the waveform of either the kick or the 808 and so it changes the waveform or swaps the waveform and sometimes that can help. You know what? Actually, we don't need a kick. I feel like this beat already pretty good like this. Right now I'm gonna do some slight leveling and then we can do some arrangement and the beat is basically done. This. Cut like this one part out, duplicate it four times. And now we can cut stuff out, let's cut this out. We're gonna cut out the leads for now. 
So let it run like this for a while. Now that I heard this, I kind of want to go in here and add a slide node. Drop out some drums. Drop the bass back in, you know, and then drop it back out. That is like the arrangement of our beat. I put it back to here. It's like 150. It's exactly in the kind of lane of these kinds of beats. Pretty simple for bars, hook for bars, hook, and then verse, verse section, like a little switch up for the outro. Pretty simple. As you can see, these one shots sound insane. And it doesn't matter what kind of style you're going for, because like I said, these come dry. So you can actually experiment with processing them in different ways. Uh, you can make like a rage stuff, like trap, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna show you guys my top three effects chains right now. You can try them out. They are for different kind of vibes and stuff. So maybe you can find something that's cool. So the first one is one I use a lot when I make R&B and it kind of turns your sounds or gives your sounds like this kind of watery effect. But this happens because as you can see, there's a lot of pitch reads on here. And what I basically do is have a sound uh, as play without, without like the effects. With effects, gives it a like watery sample feel. We do this by adding multiple pitch wheels. In, in the beginning of our chain, we add like two pitch wheels, one up an octave, one like up three. So right now we're up 15 semitones. Then we add like a couple effects. So I use this very speed just for the texture, not even for the delay. And you can add like multiple different effects in there even more. I didn't right here. And then we go back down. So now we go back down three. So we're back at 12. And then I added the wow control just to give it a little more wow and like a little more like of that flutter analog sound. And then I went down a whole octave. So right now, if we take this off, this is how it sounds with all the pitch wheels. And this is what it sounds like with the pitch wheels. And they're basically canceling each other out. Basically sounds go through the pitch wheel, get affected differently because they're pitched up by the effects that, that are between the pitch wheels. And then we pitch it back down to our original pitch. But yeah, this is the first one. Great for that moody R&B. So next we have, the sound is more like a basic effects chain. This gives like you one shot a little bit more space and makes them sound a little bit more organic, like they're straight out of a synth and not one shots. Um, this is a Reels with the FR setting and the 187 tape speed. Wow, and com nearly completely down. Ha like harshness to like 7%, sound noise is completely down. Next we have a chorus. If I had to make this effects chain no new, completely from scratch, I would use the memory from a Sumex just because it's free and you get like the probably better sound out there as well. And then just the space. It doesn't really matter what space. I use this reverb from like Semetics again, the shimmer mode, and you just want a little bit of that reverb. And at the end, I just added some height. So that's like not really necessary, but you can. So this is like a more basic version of a like effects chain that's like not so crazy with like 10 different pitch wheels. It's just more like getting a good default sound out of it. And lastly, we have a kind of lo-fi chain, also very simple. We have Echo Boy. I don't really use it as a delay right here. As you can see, we turned, we went to time and we went to like 1.8 milliseconds. Normally the mix should be 100%. And then we just use this style knob right here. You can get some crazy, crazy sound out of this. I went for the ambient style and then you can just play with saturation a little bit. Get this kind of sound. So you get a good amount of texture. After that, we added the reels, just a little bit of noise, motor, again, this FR tape, 187, a good amount of flutter and a good amount of harshness. And we also turned it mono and we just added like an EQ after that. So this is like a little bit of the lows and a little bit of the highs. And this is what we get. So these are my top three effects chains to turn any one shot into an amazing sound. So if you want to try out fantasy and get the 500 plus one shots for free, just check the link in the description. It's going to be all in there. I hope you could take something away from this and that's it from me. See you in the next one.